to our shop. This is place that we found, and it's time for another video for this episode. This time we're going to cover a recent video made by Ben the Looney. Now, Ben the Looney has quite the interesting history. Back in 2010, around that time, he made many infamous rants on shows like Regular Show and Adventure Time. And he was a band worker in the Slideshow commentary community for a very long time. I do find Ben the Looney to be a very interesting individual. He has been on YouTube for a very long time. Now, as for what I think of him as a reviewer personally, I personally think he's a mixed bag. He can make great reviews, but at the same time, he has made many bad ones. Now, he recently made a random discussion video where he was talking about how he's changed his opinions on things he used to rant about in the past. And honestly, I have a lot to say about the video, so without further ado, let's take a look. Howdy, y'all. Hope everybody's doing well, having a good Labor Day weekend. I don't celebrate that, but thanks. So I've been doing some thinking recently, and I decided that since I've mellowed out in my older years, and I am completely chilled out as compared to my old rant videos, I decided it would be cool to do a video where I relook at a lot of the cartoons and stuff I used to rant on, and Give a little reevaluation of it. Yeah, trust me, man. I feel the same. I'm a lot more chilled out in my current videos as opposed to my old ones. Just to show everybody, hey, I've changed my mind on things, and I'm a lot more open and optimistic when it comes to a lot of stuff. And that's something to be damn proud of. So, I don't want to waste any more time. Let's just dive right into it, and I'll... Do a little list. I have a little list right here of uh, stuff I wanted to talk about again. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. This should be interesting. Well, let's get the big one out of the way. The one that kind of made me infamous with the ranking community. Or the, yeah, just made me infamous. Adventure Time and Regular Show. This is just my personal experience. I'm not saying that you're wrong. But can most videos that were made on you back then really be considered rants or from the ranting community? From what I remember, most of the videos complaining about your rants were commentaries, meaning that they were from people in the Slideshow commentary community, which was just called the commentary community back then. A lot of people commented it on your rants, such as Junior Fan and David was here. Yeah, they were really more of commentaries than rants. I don't recall there being any rants done on your videos, so I wouldn't say that they are from the ranting community. But then again, my experience is probably different from yours. Maybe you did notice more fucking rants done on your videos back then. But I sure as hell don't remember any. But again, it's just personal experience, nothing more. I, I'll admit, I was a little too harsh on these shows when I was growing up, I, uh... <laughs> Actually, I don't mind that because I know you were just acting in those videos. I can see that clear as day. I guess you could say I kind of had a traditionalist animation, uh, idea in mind where I... I wasn't a big fan of shows that, uh... The, the, the style of humor and the kind of stuff that this show went for. But, um, oh, as the years went on, uh, they grew on me. I, uh, I really did, uh, get, now you can say I'm a fan of them. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of Adventure Time's, uh, open world, uh, sandbox style storytelling with all of its characters and everything. And, uh, I like, uh, regular shows, uh, random, uh, slacker sense of humor. And, uh, I, I love the surrealism of it all. Yeah, looking back, your reasons for hating regular show were very fucking hypocritical. Especially since the main issue you had with regular show is that it's weird. Although weird cartoons have been on Cartoon Network since the fucking beginning. I mean, hell, two of the most iconic shows on Cartoon Network, Texas Laboratory and The Purple of Course, are weird. And that's okay because they're fucking cartoons. Honestly, I'm glad that you changed your mind on regular show because your reasons for hating regular show back then weren't good. You just hated it for being weird for the most part, which was a terrible reason. As for Adventure Time, well, I haven't seen much of it, admittedly. I should probably give more of it a chance. Oh, and by the way, regular show is fucking awesome. I agree with you on that. And definitely uh, becoming a fan. Uh 
getting into close enough J.G. Quintel's other show, uh, R.I.P. <laughs> that, that definitely helped me change my mind on regular show, but, um... Oh, I haven't seen that! I should definitely give it a chance, so I fucking love regular show. So yeah, I do apologize for all the times I was hard on these shows, they really didn't deserve it. Again, I don't mind, since I know you were just acting. They are definitely uh, one of the catalysts that kicked off a renaissance of animation on TV again. So for that, I think they have a significant place in the history of animation for that alone. Oh yeah, Adventure Time and Regular Show definitely fucking deserve credit for that. Now, I personally think that Regular Show is one of the best shows on Cartoon Network. In fact, in my opinion, it's the second best beaten only by Texas Laboratory. I didn't think that when I first saw it, but I always fucking loved it. And I loved the show more the more I thought about it. Regular show is definitely a fucking classic. Keeping up with the Cartoon Network theme, I find it pretty funny. I was one of the first people that uh, didn't like Steven Universe when it first came out. Then I eventually got into it, and then that's when everybody started not liking it. It's funny how that works sometimes. I personally fucking hate Steven Universe though. But then again, I only saw the first two seasons and then gave up on it after that. Considering how I've heard that the show actually went downhill sometime after that, I don't think I'm interested in seeing more of the show personally. But anyway, I, uh, yeah, watched, uh, <laughs> it was a fateful time, uh, in two 2019, uh, my, uh, one of my close friends invited me to watch the Steven Universe movie with him, and I said, but I'm not a fan of Steven Universe, and he was like, well, just watch this movie with me anyway, I'm like, okay, <laughs> I, I was bored that day anyway, that's... <laughs> So yeah, after I watched the movie, I uh, I started watching the show again from start to finish, and yeah, I, I watched the whole show all the way through, even Steven Universe Future, and yeah, I, I kind of feel bad I didn't get into it sooner. It, it was definitely a really, really um uplifting uh, series to watch. I loved the characters, I loved the story, and I loved how they, I love how it was able to tell its uh, story and like write its dialogue and... That's a very interesting story about that friend of yours. You're lucky to have a friend who convinced you to change your mind. It honestly it didn't even feel like I was watching a kid's cartoon from time to time. It, it, it was a, felt like a really well-written adult show for adults that just happened to star uh, lesbian rocks from outer space. <laughs> Polton, how the hell does it feel? Like an adult cartoon made for adults. Can someone please explain how that even begins to make sense? Here's a big one I think a lot of people have been wanting me to hear. So, hmm, you guys might be a little bit surprised by this, but I actually became a fan of Family Guy <laughs> a few years ago. Back when you uploaded your rant on Family Guy, I fucking loved the show. And now I fucking hate it. Strange how... Our opinions on the show changed the opposite ways. Once again, I uh, I was uh, watching the new uh, sun Sunday morning or Sunday morning Sunday night animation domination block, and I was uh, waiting for a friend of mine to have a call with him after it was over, and he said, "Well, you could just watch Family Guy with me. Just just give it a chance again." I was like, "All right." And that's all it took. I watched one episode and yeah, I was back into it. It's So you watch a lot of shows with friends. As for me personally, I don't do that much. I do for the most part watch movies, TV shows and so on. Totally on my own. Yeah, I personally prefer watching stuff alone rather than doing it with a friend. So we are different in that way. Of course, I'm always open to changing my opinion on stuff. Hell, I do it all the fucking time. Huh. It's almost like you're more willing to enjoy things if you just open up your mind and uh, look for a good time instead of wanting to be mad at everything. It's funny how that works. Honestly, this is something that many people need to fucking learn. Ah, uh, we'll go ahead and lump uh, Ted in here as well. I actually rewatched that movie again recently with some friends and I was laughing my butt off at it. <laughs> it's, I, it's, it's amazing. I, uh, I, I just, I just love having a good time and I love uh, laughing at things. I personally am not a fan of that movie. The major being it has a similar style of humor 
But the show Fair America has, which is a show which I fucking hate, which I made clear earlier on in the video. So I will admit that I actually did enjoy Ted for the first sight because back then I actually was a fan of Family Guy. Um, I'm not gonna be a gatekeeper when it comes to comedy. Sure, there's some things I don't laugh at, but if, if some makes me laugh, I'm gonna laugh. I'm not gonna f stop myself from laughing. That's that's unhealthy. Why the hell are you even bringing this up? It's fiction. Who fucking cares if you find it funny or not? No one really cares as Hoover is subjective. And those who do are assholes worth ignoring. And yeah, I, I, I feel bad for all the things I said about Seth MacFarlane in the past. He's really not a bad guy at all. And it was pretty wrong of me to judge his character just based on the cartoons he makes. He, he really didn't deserve that. But honestly, even as someone who hates Family Guy now, even I will agree that yes, attacking him as a person really was a step too far, which you did back then. I'll keep this one a little short because I kind of addressed it before, but with the Looney Tunes show, I don't think it's the worst thing ever anymore. I don't, I don't have a grudge against it or anything anymore like that. Oh, I haven't seen that show yet. Maybe we should give it a chance sometime. Who the hell knows? I'll keep this one short too. So, one of the last uh, big rants I did was on uh, the movie Joker, and it's the kind of the the reason behind me not liking this one is kind of the same thing as Looney Tunes. I think it was just way too different from what I feel the Joker is, and it just kind of felt weird to me. Like uh, it was it was stuck in that weird little thing where it was a. Uh, Trying to be a comic book movie, yet trying to be an artsy movie at the same time, and I just think it came off as kind of a mess, in my opinion, and it, like, I, if I was doing the movie, I probably would have done it a little differently, um, probably just uh, not even be an origin story, just have him start off as Joker and just have him doing the Jokery things, but... Eh, what do I know? Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the movie either. I mean, it's a good movie, don't get me wrong. But I think it's very fucking overrated. It does address mental issues very well. But in my opinion, it's nowhere near one of the best movies of 2019. Not by a fucking long shot. <laughs> well, what do I know? I'm just a gay redneck stoner making cartoons and stuff. <laughs> Hold on. You make cartoons? I know that you once had a dream of wanting to work for a cartoon in the injury. But I have no idea if you succeeded in that dream or not. But I've never actually seen any of your fucking cartoons. So any of you watching, if you guys know of any of the cartoons that Benaruni made, feel free to let me know. I would fucking love to see those cartoons in all honesty. Because I haven't yet, I wasn't even aware of them, but I would love to fucking see them. Keeping up with the movie theme, um... I did have a lot of, it seems like I did kind of have a bitter grudge against uh, Christopher Nolan and his movies. Eh, once again, eh, it's just more or less a thing of his, his movies really not being my thing. They're just a little too wordy for my liking and they require a lot of attention and they give away a lot of stuff in the dialogue and... I just don't feel like there's many characters for me to attach. I'm, I'm a character person. If it, for me to enjoy something, I have to really, really fall in love with a character because uh, that that's how I get interested in the story. If I like a character, I want to see where the character's story goes. And uh, Nolan has a certain style where he uh, likes to write a lot. He has a lot of interesting and cool ideas for his movies. But his characters just... Uh, I, uh, yeah, I, I just can't get into him that way, and uh, he does have his signature styles as a director that I don't particularly care for either. Um, not a fan of his, uh, not a fan of his, uh, <laughs> not a fan of the lack of colors, how his movies feel a little too real, but that's how he likes to do things, and who am I to judge him for that? That's, that's the beauty of art and filmmaking, you know? Everybody has their own way of doing things, and it's like, who am I to bark orders at them and tell them how to do it? Do I have to like it? No, of course not. But I'm not gonna let it bother me if they exist. After all, he does have a big fan base of people who uh, flock to his movies, so there's something there that people love about him, and uh, I'm happy. I'm happy they're... His movies make him happy, but they're just not my thing, and that's all right. 
Honestly, I totally respect your opinion on Christopher Nolan's Batman movies. The Dark Knight is one of the most beloved movies of all time. But I have a few friends that don't like that movie. And that's completely fine by me. Hell, I know that there are some people who don't like Star Wars and that means the original trilogy. And that is cool too. I can't for the life of me think of anyone who doesn't like Pulp Fiction. But if one doesn't like it, that's cool too. Everybody is entitled to their opinion. For example, I'm not a fan of Rare Vento by Alfred Hitchcock. I personally find that movie to be fucking boring. But hey, a lot of people like that movie. And that's cool. And although I personally don't agree, I can certainly see why it's widely considered to be one of Alfred Hitchcock's most beloved movies. Here's a big one that um, I'm surprised I didn't talk uh, too much about, but um, I did uh, dedicate a little section in uh, one of my classic cartoons. I hate video about it. Uh, uh, I hate using that word nowadays. Hate. Uh, I would never say that anymore, but um, anyway. I mean, I still use the word hate constantly. The thing is, the word dislike, I'm not a big fan of it. It just doesn't have much bait to it. Hate is something is a much fucking stronger feeling than just disliking something. So yeah, if I'm not a fan of a movie, I usually say that I fucking hate it. And I'm very damn proud of the fact that I use the word hate a lot, because it's a strong word. Pokemon. This is probably going to be strange to hear, but I was actually one of the biggest Pokemon fans when I was growing up. Uh, there was a time I was actually probably as into Pokemon as I was into Godzilla movies. That's just how much it w meant to me as a child. Yeah, personally, I'm not a big fan of Godzilla. In my opinion, King Kong is a lot fucking better. And the 1933 King Kong movie is my favorite monster movie of all time. It's such a fucking classic. Well, I had Pokemon plushies, I had Pokemon books, Pokemon bed sheets. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I had a bunch of Pokemon board games. I, I played the games a lot. I watched the show all the time. I, I, I had the VHS tapes growing up. I was a Pokemon fanatic. Wow, you sure had a lot of fucking merchandises. I don't blame you for that, man. Pokemon truly is fucking awesome. The Pokemon creatures themselves are the most fucking awesome creatures ever. Although I'm not as big of a Pokemon fan as I used to be, it still is my favorite video game franchise of all time. Because of that very fucking reason. Speaking of childhood nostalgia trips, again, I was really into Scooby-Doo as a kid. I don't, and uh, I guess as an adult, I had a, I went on a crusade against cartoons I felt sucked because, oh, how dare they repeat the same formula over again? It, it, it's Scooby-Doo. It's a, it's a bunch of uh, young adults solving mysteries with a talking dog and guys dressed up in monster costumes like. It's fun. It's all in good fun. There's no reason for me. There was no reason for me to be so bitter and angry about it. You know, it's it's Scooby-Doo for crying out loud. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Scooby-Doo. I mean, I don't hate the Francis, but it never really interested me that much. And last but not least, I think we'll uh, address a big one here. Adam Sandler. Um, I like to... Th I, I have a somewhat strange feeling that I got... I might have gotten a lot of these uh, bitter opinions I had in my rant videos from uh, people I was looking up. I probably, I probably just heard some critic or a bunch of pop culture, uh, uh, pop culture attitudes towards a lot of the things that I ranted on, and I felt, oh well, if they hate it, I guess I have to hate it too. Hey, don't worry, Ben. I fell into a trap too. I used to fucking hate. Chris Bors and the Iron Gamer, back when he was at the height of his infamy. And I hated him only because everyone else hated the Iron Gamer at the time. But I later realized that he wasn't that bad. In fact, looking back at his old Iron Gamer episodes, these videos are actually very damn good. I'm sure the review portion of those old videos is shit. I don't think anyone can dispute that. But when it comes to the skits, they are very damn entertaining. And also, I had no room to fucking talk about the other gamer being a bad game reviewer back then. I wasn't much of a gamer myself back then, so who the hell am I to talk, right? And I never was much of a gamer. Though, I think if that's changed now, since I am making Let's Plays on my channel nearly every fucking day now. I really like Adam Sandler movies. Yeah, I... You know, sometimes I'm in the mood to just have... 
have a, a little little laugh, you know. I'm not gonna not gonna pretend every one of his movies are entertaining and uh, make me laugh, but you know he he's got a handful of ones I really like, and uh, even even some of the ones that people consider the worst ever, Little Nicky. That one's my favorite of his. I don't get why everyone hates that one. Don't worry, but you're not alone. I fucking love Little Nicky too. It's funny it's a very entertaining movie. So yeah, I hope y'all uh, like this little uh, look back I had at stuff I used to rant on. I sure shall do. And if I ever give a new attitude for, uh, cause you feel like I was being unfair to any of these things, I do apologize, but uh... I can't, I don't fucking care I know you were just acting. Now I'm a better person now and I never, uh... I hope to never go back to that way again, I... Yeah, I hope so too. Because you're all trans. They're fucking terrible. Though you shouldn't stop criticizing stuff altogether. Make more videos where you criticize stuff. I would love to see that. And hey, it's very possible to criticize stuff in a civil way without getting angry. Hell, I do it all the time, so I'm sure you can too. I... I try to give everything a... Uh... You know, I try to go into everything expecting to like it, because liking things is more fun than not liking things, and... You have no idea how much I fucking agree with you. But unfortunately, many people think that negative reviews are more fun than positive reviews. Which I can't disagree with more. There's too much fucking negativity online. And overly negative videos about movies being my recommended feed every day. I am so fucking sick of it, man. I'd rather watch videos talking about how good something is than watching videos talking about how bad something is. But unfortunately those kinds of videos are almost never in my fucking recommended feed. And I either have to rely on my subscriptions or search for these kinds of videos manually. I mean sometimes they are in my recommended feed but it's very rare. It sucks man, it really fucking does. And you know, uh, the people who make these shows, they're not trying to hurt anybody, they're just uh, trying to entertain people and... You know, that, that's something to be admired, and uh, it's uh, it's definitely not something to be angry about. I fucking respect you a lot for saying that. You know, more people need to be open-minded when they talk about people that are involved with making movies. Because making movies is a lot of hard work. Hell, it's a lot harder than making videos on YouTube. It takes a very fucking long time to make a movie. And then you have to make sure that you get everything right. Like Chris Stockman once said, movie makers deserve a lot of respect as it's so hard to make movies. I'm sure the angry video game, for example, has a lot of production value and probably more production value than most YouTubers. But with the majority of videos made on YouTube, yeah, making movies is a lot fucking harder than making online videos. So yeah, directors, even those who make bad movies, deserve a lot of respect because of how hard it is to make a movie. So, uh, that's all I have for right now, guys. Um, if there's anything that um, I uh, you feel like I didn't address that I could have, um, feel free to leave in the comments below and I'll uh, reply to you if I get a chance. But, um... but I doubt you'd watch this video, though. But I would fucking appreciate it. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. Honestly, this is a very interesting video. Ben the Looney is talking about how he now loves stuff he used to hate in the past. And a retrospective video like that is always interesting to see. Like I said, overall as a reviewer, I think Ben the Looney is a mixed bag. He can make terrible reviews and he can also make great reviews. He certainly is an interesting individual and this is an interesting video which he made. So, yeah, that's basically it. Thank you all for watching. Have a fantastic day.